Almost 13 years ago, I retired. I didn't have to have a job. In fact, I went in to fire my boss and I did exactly that. This side of my jacket, I had airline tickets to Florida for my wife and I. On this side of my jacket, I had a resignation letter. And I went to my boss who was particularly a mean guy who went out of his way to make your life miserable. If you ask for time off, he denied it. So I asked for time off. I said, Fergie, I have to have two weeks off because I'm taking my wife to Florida. We're going to go away. We have tickets to SeaWorld and we're going to go and enjoy ourselves. He says, you can or I'll fire you. And I said, I'm sorry you feel that way. And I drew out the letter of resignation. I held it like this and I said, Fergie, if I don't quit this job today, I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> and you're number one on my list. <laughs> so I handed him that letter and he was foolish enough to threaten me. Because I had served in the RCMP as a mounted policeman, I always guarded my conversation with the tape recording and I picked the tape recorder up and clicked it in and I stood close to him and I let him talk. And he went on about how he was gonna hold up my pension and how he was gonna do all that. And then when he was finished babbling, I played him the tape recording and I said, on my way to your boss's office, was there anything further you wanted to say? <laughs> So I, I had been in network marketing now for close to 28 years with previous companies and then I got ill right after I retired. I ended up in hospital and uh, they put me in a coma to revive me. It's a little bit hard at this part, but uh, I got well and I went to a company that had relatively good products. And I say relatively good because I hadn't found RX yet. And I did start on the way to get well. And uh, I made a fair amount of money. It allowed me to pay cash for a house. And I have several classic cars. I'm right now building my two sons, each a hot rod, 1953 Ford trucks. And I kind of let go. And can I get this gentleman to come here for a minute? Thank you. <laughs> Just hold this mic for a sec. I let go in the form of my physical condition. I could not button this coat. Wow. I, I was unable to, thank you. I was unable to get the coat buttoned up. The, the money was there, I was making money, but we were. I was leaving this company that I was with. And I went home and I talked with my wife and I said, I think I'm gonna just retire, to heck with it. You know, being a leader in a group isn't always easy. And I had started with a group and I felt a bit guilty, guilty that I was gonna leave them behind because I was in the position I could stay home. We live in a part of British Columbia, Canada where I call it Mecca. Just down the street from my house is a lake with 200 miles of shoreline. I have a wave runner, a couple of fishing boats, a motorcycle, and I think at my last count, I have about seven cars parked around the country. And so I, I struggled with that. And there was a family that came into our life, Mark and Sandra Frome, they're here, and their kids, they actually came to live with us, but before that happened, I started coaching her. And when I saw the growth in that lady, I couldn't quit. So I, I told my wife, I said, I'm going down to the States for a few days. I'll see you when I get back. And I phoned a friend of mine that wanted me to re-engage in network marketing and I picked him, I drove actually, and I picked him up in Boise. And we flew down and met Cameron Bott and the staff of Eric's. And I had been to three other companies that day. We walked in and we were hunting for a company. 
had to have two main criteria. It had to have quality products that worked for me, otherwise there's no point in me being there. And it had to have a compensation plan that worked. It's all well and good to talk about 40 and 70 and 100% return, but if you can't get to it, what's the good of it? So after about 10 minutes of talking to all the staff, I looked at my partner and I said, so what's your take on it all? He says, I'm in. I said, oh really, that fast? <laughs> and I, he said, what about you? I said, I was in at about the three minute mark. <laughs> So I went home and still I was this guy. In fact, I tried to bring a, a demonstration down with me from upstairs. If I put one of those big puffy pillows that are on your bed up my back, this fits just about like it used to. And so Sandra was starting on a program. She's a personal trainer, works in a facility up at home. Started on a program of creating a weight loss thing. She talked with people in the office and they established them. And I gave her some stuff from an old company that was with weight loss. And this is where somebody once said, you can't compete with kids and animals. If you're in this business and you go to do a presentation, there's kids and animals, forget it. But it's also kind of positive because kids have impact especially grandkids. So my wife said something to me and I just can you know what, you know what it's like guys, eh? Your wife says something and you go like this. <laughs> it's gone, right? But my youngest granddaughter, who's my fishing buddy, said to me, Grandpa, how come you're so fat? <laughs> and that was kind of the point when I heard what Sandra was saying. I said, whoa. If I'm going to start a team, and we call our team Eric's Eagles, and we have an Eric's Eagles weight loss program, and you can talk to Sandra more about that, and my wife's words came back saying, if you're going to sell this stuff, don't you think you should be a better advertisement? <laughs> so the, the nutritionals literally saved my life, because that, that's what gives me the energy. But since I started the program that Eric's and the office has created, I have lost how many pounds? Does anybody guess? 170 pounds. No, not that much. 15. 36 pounds and 17 inches. Wow. So I've been doing it for 14 weeks. I no longer have knee pain, hip pain, and my 47-year-old son, which gives you an idea how old I am, can't keep up to me. I'm 73 this year, and we're just starting our business. And I, uh, I hope that something I may have said will inspire some of you to do what a very good friend of mine said was, if you want to win in this game, you got to break gravity with the coach. Thank you.